Hi guys, Katie here. Um, I was really excited to put up my tree this year because we picked up a new one last year after Christmas. Um, it was like 10 bucks or something at Target and um, it's a six foot tree. So since my tree is a little different than your typical tree, I thought I would just kind of show off some of my ornaments. Um, we're just going to stop at the start at the top. I've been using this ornament um, as my star for years. I've had a three foot tree since I was a little kid in my room. Um, and this is just a regular star ornament, kind of large. We're going to need to get a new star for the top of our tree this year. Um, but this we've had for a really long time, so that's, that's our star. Um, resting on our star, we have a little red finger puppet. This was hand sewn, uh, I mean hand knitted, uh, bought on by an uh, Etsy uh, user. I'm trying to remember what her name is. Um, I'll write it down in the, in the comments at the bottom. Um, this I made yesterday. I got together with a friend and we just made some random Christmas ornaments. Um, she had said she wanted to make a snowman. She didn't end up making a snowman, but I made a snowman. So there he is. Um, we've got a couple of Spongebob ornaments. There's our Spongebob. We've got um, our little... This was actually supposed to be like a boxer. We considered it a boxer, but that's not what he looks like. But he represents our boxer. Um, I've had these sparkly snowflakes for years and years. Those were my first uh, ornaments. I'm just going to turn down my soundtrack a little bit. It's kind of loud. Um, I'm listening to the Best Songs playlist by Tesos Barless. Um, this is on YouTube. So that's what we're listening to. Um, this I got last year. I have a dachshund, so we have quite a few dachshund ornaments. We've got a bunch of birds clipped into the tray. There's Mr. Krabs. Um, I got these quite a few years ago, handmade at the Stop and Shop warehouse that's in um, Asonet, Massachusetts. This is my little vintage troll buddy. I love her. We have Buddy from Dinosaur Train. I love Dinosaur Train, and when I saw this ornament last year, I had to have it. My sister gave this to us last year, a cute little moose. Um, we have another plush teddy bear. I know we have a lot of ornaments that are typical, but um, I tend to put a lot of toys in our tree, which is the reason I thought I would show it. Um, this is one of my fiance's ornaments. It represents um, him, his guitar. We got these Nutcrackers last year. We went to see the Nutcracker Ballet at um, our local theater house. What else do we have? I have a couple of these spiky little critters. Um, I put one of each on the tray. I have two of each. We have a very cool robot. I got that a couple of years ago, two or three years ago at Target. Um, little plush teddy bear. Little plush moose. Um, these were made by um, a friend of mine. This one's my fiance, and mine has a little bow on it for a girl. They're um, gingerbread ornaments. Little coffee cup that says, I love my dog. Laffy Taffy, this had candy in it. Um, we have another dachshund down here. Lots of dachshunds on the tree. Um, that's one of my dog's toys. We put one of his toys on the tree. We have a Pinkie Pie ornament. This was from McDonald's last year. It's not really an ornament, it's a toy, but we use it as ornaments. And um, she's one of my favorites, but her name is like escaping me right now. Uh, Lily Blossom. Um, she's also from McDonald's last year. And then I should have Rarity. Let's see, where is Rarity? Um, we'll find her. Uh, we do have a rarity, the same one, somewhere on the tray. This is uh, my um, sister-in-law's dog's paw print from last year. Um, Sorry, <laughs> something fell. I'll deal with that later. Um, this is a very old ornament that was mine from the very first time I saw the Nutcracker when I was little. 
This is also an old ornament. I think I gave this to my grandma and grandpa. And they've been giving me ornaments back this year so I can use them on my tree. Or they've been giving them back to me lately the past few years. Um, this was made by my friend Kendra yesterday. It started as a bell and turned into a little nutcracker guy. Um, she made it with a cup. She actually did a really good job. I think she'll she'll kill me when she knows I showed it on video. But I love it. Um, my fiancé and I have a lot of family ornaments. This one's from 2010. It has myself and him, the dog, and our hamster. Our hamster passed away this past year. Um, but we do have guinea pigs, so we'll be getting our first ornament with five characters on it, actually. Um, this was the first ornament we got for Ollie. It's a little uh, marshmallowy. Um, Wow, a lot of things are like escaping me. Oh, a s'mores. <laughs> a s'mores um, ornament. But it's broken, so there's some glue stains on there from when I put it back together. With a little plush bird. Uh, my mom got this for me in 2010. Um, my dinosaur ornament. This is our boxer's paw print from last year. Um, this is our fingerprints from last year. Um, we got some more little spiky critters in there, more birds, a toy plane, um, Spongebob Squarepants logo, I don't know if things are focusing very well, um, but yeah, we have a lot of toys in our tree, oh, I made this yesterday, <laughs> it's like a little fox inside um like a log it's supposed to look like a log with like moss and leaves and stuff inside um i don't know why i can't find rarity i know i put her on the tree but i'll just scan around in case there's anything that i didn't mention that's kind of cool we tried to back up the back of the tree this year um, which is always rough because it's hard to pick what you want to put. Oh, there she is. It's hard to pick what you want to put on the um, the back of your tree, but you got to put something or the whole thing's going to tip. Um, oh, there's... Oh, I guess the other one was me and this one is my fiancé. Um... Tinkerbell. We have another... This Tinkerbell lights up. She was from, um, like, a cup when I went to Disney last year. And I have another Tinkerbell on the back. We're going to be going to Disney um, before Christmas. So whatever ornament we get from there this year, I'll put on the front of the tree. And actually, I put this back here this year because it was on the front last year. But a big toaster. I like silly things like that. Toasters. And... If you come into our tree, you will find our pickle. I have German um, heritage, so I do have a pickle in my tree. But yeah. Um, oh, there's Ollie's paw print. I knew it was somewhere. Um, and if you don't know who Ollie is, that's my pup. He does have his own YouTube channel. It's labeled Ollie for a day, um, or you can search Ollie the Artist, and you'll be able to find him. You can also find him on Facebook um, at facebook.com forward slash Ollie the Artist. But this is our tree. This is probably one of my favorite ornaments right now. Um, my sister gave it to me last year, and when you turn it on, it changes color. So I think that's very cool. Um, we have two different colored purple um, strands in the tree, uh, like a bluish purple or a darker purple and like a pinky purple. Right now we have rope lights. We're going to put regular lights in too. I can't find them. And then we have the string of like little silver stars. So yeah, that's our tree. And um, we have a mini tree for Ollie. This is his first mini tree so he has his own 
Um, we already hung up the stockings. Uh, we do need one more, but right now this is for the guinea pigs. Ollie's stocking mine. And then Jeff's. We made these a few years ago. And then I have bunk stocking here as a memorial. And then I had this here because we don't have a chimney in the basin. <laughs> So I made a little fireplace and hung the stockings in front of it, but that fell off the wall. And then we hang up some silver stuff. But. So yeah, I just wanted to show basically the tree. Um, I know I'm probably one of the first people uh, in my area to put up a Christmas tree. I know it's still quite early. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Um, but my fiance loves Christmas, and I was really anxious to put the tree up. Um, I like to get new ornaments every year, so we, uh, we did this yesterday. So, um, I'd love to hear about your tree, maybe like your favorite ornament, um, what you plan on getting this year. Do you make ornaments? Do you have any cool ideas for making ornaments? Um, what's your favorite on my tree that I showed? I love my troll doll. I love, love, love her. Um, Buddy is great. I got him last year, and I, I really like Dinosaur Train. Um, and I've always really liked my little finger puppet, teddy bear. And then I have some old ornaments that I showed, um, like the ballerina from the Nutcracker that are special memories for me. Um, and then things like the robot, who I love him a lot. And I get nervous because he's going to break. Ooh, I'm not pointing it at it. Um, he's going to break someday. He's kind of like a thinner, like, glass material, but he's... He's fun. My toaster in the back and stuff. So, yeah. Tell me about your tree. Tell me about your holidays. Um, you know, I mean, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, do you do anything special to decorate for a holiday that you do celebrate? Um, you know, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, you can still like ornaments on my tree or things like that. So, just leave me some comments. I'd love to hear. We're getting in the Christmas spirit really early this year. Um, and I'm all excited, so yay! Thanks for watching. I can't wait until that's filled with la la loopsies.